In this one, I'll be climbing to the top of a huge tower and uncovering the mysteries and secrets of the civilization who was here before me. But maybe more importantly, I'll be doing it with a cute little companion along for the journey. This is Jusson, and it's a climbing action puzzle adventure by Don't Nod. And thank you to Don't Nod for sponsoring this video. Checking it out early today, you can wishlist the game on Steam. It's coming to Xbox and PlayStation 5 as well. If you like it, then check it out at the links below. It's coming in fall of this year. There is also a little demo coming out for you to play, so check out those links if you want to try it for yourself. French nautical term for a receding tide. Jusson? Hopefully someone can tell me about my pronunciation in the comments. I like those shades. There's a character that wears shades like that in Big Trouble in Little China. He's literally just an extra as part of a gang. And I thought, those look so cool as a kid. And I've always remembered it. Soundtrack on point. Me looking at my workload and my life problems. <laughs> on a Monday morning. one, Daymark. It begins. We're in. I like the outfit and there's sort of this post-apocalyptic vibe to everything, isn't there? So it looks like I've, what, ascended up here and uh, this is where it begins. We've come up from here. The starting point. Just wanted to go back and check. Came up with that. We're already, like, quite high up. I wonder if there's another segment before this. This is just the preview. Up we go. To climb, climb, climb. No problem is insurmountable. Climb. anyone ever climbed anything? You know, like, wait, is that something I can look through? Hang on. Do you guys climb? Anyone do any climbing? Oh, I thought there was something here. Sorry. Carry on now. Has anyone ever done any climbing? Hmm. 
Oh, L T or R T is a grip. Search for hold, grip again. Release right arm. Grip. Release. Grip. Release. Grip. Release. Okay. <gasps> That's cool. I mean, you can already see that this will be something that speedrunners get into if it's like this, right? This displays the rope's main carabiner. When full, it means the rope is wound in. When empty, the rope is attached to a ball. How do I attach? Ah, there we go. Okay, so we attach. Okay. That's pretty cool. automatically secure the climb I'll show you the right path to take Manga Bay Make sure we stop to enjoy the view along the way Spider-Man, Spider-Man. Who's your favorite Spider-Man? Mm. Am I going down? What? Oh, wait, hang on, up here, okay. Hold X to place a pit on. Hold A to load a jump. Release. <gasps> oh. oh my gosh. Okay. Jump. Got to grab, didn't I? Right hand gauge represents your stamina. Monitor it and keep it topped up and prevent yourself from falling. Oh, it's pretty satisfying. Like, just thinking there instinctively. Like, let me drop a bit and then grab and it doing it. Pretty good. Pretty natural. Piton. What did that say? Rest. Ah, oh, shaking it off. That's so cool. I wonder if I have to like wind this in. Like, if you do a really long climb, do you have to? Like, it's changing colour, the rope, right? Like, it was starting to get too stretched, I think. It's in here. Am I going up the ins... Up, oh, there we go. so satisfying when you actually do it really quickly. Another sleep, turning over stones at the old delta. Harvest, two belay stations for parts, a good catch. That should be enough to reopen the route to the old cape. 
Otherwise, it's all smooth sailing. A couple of old lanterns I think I can revive. Folks used to throw this stuff away. I finally caught an old knitting machine for Ennio. He's been asking for one for cycles. Not in great shape, but we should be able to tinker with it. Still not sure how I'm going to haul it up to low tide, though. I want to meet the little pet that's in my bag. Hold X to place on the wall. Rope can be attached to most surfaces by holding down X. Cool. Wait. Okay. And then am I running to that? Oh, I love a wall swing and run, don't you? I wonder if I can, like, release this. Oh, hang on. Not the bit, though. That's probably safer, though. <laughs> can I grab that or not? These ones. That was so cool! Oh, that was awesome. What's in here? Hello? Is this like a different way up? like what came before. Oh, it just loops. You can listen to it for as long as you want. It's so amazing, isn't it, when as a kid someone's like, you can hear the sea and the shells, and the first time you do it you're like, whoa. <laughs> I, I can hear the sun. Okay. Okay. What's this? Yeek, how are things at the sawmill? Business has been slow at the restaurant. Almost no one came to the last music night, even though people are climbing down from all over. I know we don't play the shells anymore, but still. An old sawmill. Meow. There too. Wow. Where are we going? see where people have previously, um, there, look at that, that's such a clever way of indicating where you're supposed to do it, the scuff, it's awesome. Okay. 
go over, like... Hanging. Really cool how much you can... Oh, a double jump. Awesome. How much you can sort of move around the uh, terrain. Whoa. This is going to be a running jump. Now, how terrifying would this be, but also so much fun if you were brave enough. to jump. Ah, oh, so cool. Stamina, shake it off. You have to be so fit to do this stuff. It's like on that um, the Netflix show where it was the physical 100. The guy that was a climber was so fit. You have to be in amazing shape. I think he was an ice climber. He was like a, a rescuer that would climb up. Ridiculous strength and fitness. Well, I don't think most people do hobby climbing for fitness. I think it's a bit of a thrill-seeking thing too, isn't it? There's certainly an element of danger. Whoa. What was that? Zen. Lynn's gone to the heights to ask to extend the site. With the boss gone, the wind's gone out of our sails when it comes to digging. It's not such a bad thing. Lifting boxes, crates, and barrels is my area of expertise, but shifting their old stones? At the slightest pitch and roll, everyone's knees start quaking. Anyways, I was just getting used to the idea of working with archaeologists, making myself useful again. Already the work's dried up. I doubt it'll start up again. I don't see how we can move forward. How about you? How are things in low tide? Is Dee Dee still refusing to go to school? My love, I'm so happy to hear from you. We miss you so much. I'm homeschooling her and I'm very much out of my depth. Do you remember the names of all the regions of the tower? I don't even remember learning that. I gave Dee a homework assignment about the old altar to keep her busy for a while. She's supposed to copy the design. I ended up going with her. It had been ages since I'd last ventured beyond the village. I'd forgotten how dark it is. But you know Dee, she's gutsy, enjoying diving into the past like you. Speaking of which, have your archaeologists finally found out how tides work? They've been digging for a while now. Get it? Do you know where you'll be able to come back up here? Oh, what's that? A lizard. Lizard friend. It is dark. Hi, lizard. For you, you're climbing as well. Where am I supposed to go? Over there, maybe? Or is that where I came from? That's where I came from, right? Didn't see an obvious place to climb in there. Well, this looks like something. A zip line. Oh. I love that when we get some cinematic angles. The 
little mouse, little mouse, little mouse. Hmm. I feel like there's a lot to this game in terms of other areas you can explore off the beaten track for little secrets and letters and things. What's that? You can attach here. That's not doing it. Maybe you have to release that first. Aha. Nice. So I'm sure there's lots to explore if you want to just roam around. That would be the thing to do, would be to fill it in with lots of different stuff to do. I'm finally leaving. So happy I couldn't sleep a wink. At the old harbour master's office, a note caught my eye. It sounded like poetry. Expedition to the clouds, seeking hope and water. Join us at 12 octaves. Becca and Arlo's farm, Highfield, to journey together. After spending so long marinating and trying to find meaning in life, it'll do me good to see the world. As Emmy would say, hopefully we'll be stopping by her hut. Uh, just the thought of seeing her again is enough to tell me I'm making the right decision. With any luck, there'll be other adventurers leaving from low tide. I don't want to make my way to the meeting point with the rest of the expedition all by myself. The only time I ever left here was for the harvest festivals when I was just a small fry. So an expedition like this is no small matter. They want to set sail for the clouds. My parents. I forgot about them. What am I going to tell them? Hey folks, off on an adventure. See you around, if and only if I make it back alive. Of course, Bianca dear, don't forget to bring snacks. I better not say anything. And I should bring snacks. What else? What, are norm what do people normally take on this type of trip? One thing's for sure. What's a journey without a logbook? I've got it covered. I plan to make the expeditions that set off for the salt plain in search of springs. I'll scatter my journal entries along the way for anyone who might come after us. Farewell, my lighthouse. You welcomed me with wonder and kept me company as I've pondered too much. You've always been there for me. I'm leaving you to the weave beaks who'll watch over you from the sky. Cool. Where to next? Up, 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 up. Oh, no, hang on. Up, up. Dun, 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 dun. quite like that it doesn't let you fall completely and it does make sure that you have something so you'll recover like that rather than a sort of I feel like a sort of a game over screen would um, take you out of the moment so it's actually great to um, to, f to sort of feel like you're secured enough but it's still is that mo uh, thing of oh I dropped and I've got to climb back up but yeah Oh, it's timed it. And again, I make sure I have enough slack. Is the thing. There you go. Aren't I? Oh no, is this different? Is that the same note? It's the same note. What? <laughs> why did I just? Why did I just do a circle? Oh, uh, what? Hang on. Ah oh, dear. I'm back in the building. I think I'm 
was meant to do that. faster the second time. Okay, and then this one. And then where are we going? Probably up. Maybe it's that down. Maybe to that ledge there. Oh. So close. Against the wall and then get a run. Come on. Okay, but I need you to get around this edge right there. I think. Come on. Yes. Good job. Oh. No. for help. It's no use. The door won't budge. There's no way of knowing how its inner mechanisms work. Does it have anything to do with the lost ocean? Mo isn't much of a handyman either, but you'd think we've been able to figure it out between the two of us. He had to weigh anchor. A date, he said. It's true he did seem rather dressed up to tinker around. Rather perfumed, too. None of this answers my questions. I've explored you from deck to hold, and I'm no further than along the when I started. I still don't know what you could have been used for. My lighthouse. Your paintings seem to allude to water falling from the sky, but that's pretty vague. What am I supposed to do? So it's like a mystery building. They don't know what it did. Almost like people were here before the people who were here. Discovering both things. As for who I am, I guess we'll find out. But this thing. It's a giant hamster wheel. Do you have the key?
That little creature's too cute. It's making me emotional. I feel like we're taking him home or something. Ugh. Adorable. Chapter 2. Migration. Wow. That was something. Loved that. And now you're going to sit on my shoulder. How am I supposed to live? You're so cute. It's, so, it's like I'm loving the mystical element to this. Of discovery and we seem to know something. And this creature certainly knows what to do. Amazing. So that slides us down. So we opened this up, right? Did something. Do I now want to zip line? Is that the only reason I came up here? Like it might be. Let's give it a go. Oh. Whee. Using your companion, you see the next objective as well as certain collectibles. Oh, hello. <laughs> I'll sit in here. I was looking around. I was willing to go up there. I can't sense it. Okay. Let's go up there then. There's a ladder there. So... Oh my god, you're just chilling on my shoulder. It's so cute. What's that? Generate an echo. <gasps> oh my god. That is really cool. The fact that I was able to just grip the top one and then ride up with it rather than climb up afterwards. Love that. Game just changed. Chapter 1 was basically a tutorial. This is the real game, I guess. I just wanted to teach us climbing. lights the area up. Isn't that what we were just up? <laughs> the tower. You make it glow. <laughs> cool. Don't think. There's a collectible, I think. Going bud up here. Yeah? Something else up there too. I'm immediately more invested now I have a cute pet to work with on my shoulder. I'm like, yes. Let's go, little dude. Quite get up that last one. Surely. Ah, the double jump. I forgot. Yes, there we go. Okay. Good there. I like playing stuff with a controller where you can do these like slow shots. Can't really do that with a mouse unless you've got incredibly steady hands. Pretty high up. Wish I 
could take a selfie. My little buddy. Jumping or double jumping allows you to go higher without being attached to anything. Okay. Memories. Live music. down I think as a shortcut in case I end up back down there. Because this is where I've been, right? Yeah. Too, little man. Up there, huh? I was meditating and thinking. <laughs> There's something. we can get up there. Am I meant to go down? 
can't climb these, can I? Um, so why did this bring me up here? Let's see what's off the edge. That's just where I come from and climbed up to. I don't think it's that way. So maybe it's just... That way. Put this onto these. You're not going across further. So maybe it's this thing here. Get close enough to echo it. Cheese. Is this a ye old pizza house? What's your favorite pizza? I love double cheese, double pepperoni. Interact with companion. Hi, buddy. You're squishy, huh? Slimy. This octave, we're celebrating the safe return of Expedition 34 to the port. The expedition was led by Cory, who once braved a horizontal world. We're proud to welcome these children of low tide who are returning with a priceless treasure back among us. The members of Expedition 34, descendants of the celebrated Her, Iger, and Im, who were the first to venture out onto the Great Plain in search of the lost ocean, walked further than ever before, and were finally able to find a new spring after numerous failed expeditions. A fresh start for many villagers who have been waiting, pa waiting their turn since the furnaces and fermoliosa oases hit their population limits. A welcome reception will be held next sleep. The Gazette. In this issue, we take a look at the creatures that gave this near-cyclical publication its name. Barellas. They've come in up before in our issue on endangered tunnel wildlife. I wonder if that's what it, I have. Their slow and majestic flight. They begin their lives clinging to rocks. In this first stage of their life cycle, they resemble flowers known as shrinklets. From within the shrinklets come sparks, small glowing creatures that fly through the darkness of the caves and tunnels in groups. How many octaves does it take for a spark to grow into a brella? How long do brellas live? Has anyone seen one die? Much has been forgotten about the brellas, despite witnessing the tower's ancient past. At the time of writing, they've almost completely disappeared. Hmm. Based on the information we've gathered, who we sometimes encounter these creatures in their maintenance routes, and uh, it being near sparks makes you feel weightless. Are you a spark, or were you about to meet one? Or wildlife, please. Turn it. Can I? Wow. Planetarium. How oh, 
cool. Oh, your eyes glow. In the dark. Bunch of good old seagulls. Looks like we're going there, doesn't it? Another lift. Do this first, though. A little moment is in. That's a nice shot with the circle around us. Well, don't crouch like that. Come on. Grow the grass anyway. Mm. My little buddy. I've never climbed. I'd be bad at climbing. I'm too big. I've seen an activity for a bear. It feels very freeing doing it in here. What's that? You ever see those people who do those videos where they're like caving and squeezing through tight holes? I would actually die. The claustrophobia would be real. No, thank you. <gasps> Another cool room. The soundtrack is so good, right? secrets. Beanstalk. Up. Up, up, up. There you go. Good timing. Love the little squeaks. Okay. Then where? Oh, hang on. There you go. Down the 
shortcut. If I can. Why? Yeah. Um, pull. It's doing a good job of changing up the environment so you don't just feel like you're climbing up and outside of a mountain the whole time or actually working through something. Double tap to climb the rope more quickly. <laughs> and still finding new moves. Necessary sometimes, mightn't it? Good job. I've never seen so many people coming down from the heights, and some are stopping in low tide. Maybe my situation's not so hopeless after all. The ocean provides for a patient heart, as my mother used to say. Maybe I'll finally manage to meet someone. It's been slim pickings. Apart from old Yom, maybe. He makes my heart flip with his dimples, calloused hands, and that plaid shirt he always wears. Yom, the baker? I hope you're joking. I can never tell when you're pulling my leg. Anyway, I'm leaving the tower too. Sorry, Bassa. I don't know how else to tell you. I wish we could clip our carabiners together like we used to. Carabiners? Carabiners. I'm gonna call them carabiners because it's more fun. Before running around the old pier. I wish I could convince you to come with me, but that's how it is. I'm crewing up with a neighboring village. They found me a spot on one of their pebbles. We'll see each other again somewhere down on the plain, won't we? Don't be angry with me. I'll miss your letters. So everyone's just like slowly leaving as this place struggles to get attention, I guess. Get the hang of that. Sort of the end of a little village or a civilization even. But then we have this whole mysterious past as well. Mysteries. the sun. Shades on for this one. Cool. Let's go. My, I think because it's so hot, is my stamina draining more? With that color that's like going down. Stamina drops more quickly when the sun's out, okay. Must be bloody hot. Me on a hot day. Definitely does drop the stamina. 
heat kills me, man. Wipes me out. Roots wilt in the sun and disappear after a certain amount of time. Okay. Getting a bit of, uh... Danger, a bit of tension. It's not there. There's the grab. I think it is there. Yes. Get that stem on the back, keep it going. Nearly there. Almost. 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 Good job, buddy. Keep it going. A shower. I only really have a bath if I'm on holiday. If I'm in like a nice hotel with a nice bath, I'll be in that thing twice a day, chilling. But it's not something I really do at home. Shower all the time though. We did it. I'm completely wrung out, but we made it in time to join the expedition. There weren't many of us. Barely a handful. Look how peaky the poor thing is. She's shaking like a sewing machine. I felt so far from home. The tone was more encouraging than mocking. My efforts had been acknowledged and appreciated. I was too out of breath to reply, but a new emotion rose up inside of me. I was proud, proud to have made it this far. Still doubled over from the exertion, I looked around at the others. Everyone there had left everything behind to be there. They had fire in their eyes, a desire to change things, and I was part of it. That's all it took to fill me with fresh energy. Arlo and Becca welcomed us to their sun-scorched farm with open arms. They were emotional, and the mood was solemn. They're the last farmers left in these parts, and they're the ones who put together this expedition. They've spent their entire lives trying and failing to fight the drought. Nothing grows on the cliffs anymore. In their own funny-sounding words, not one measly plant grows in these here fields no more. I hope I'm not reproducing the Highfield dialect too badly. Becca told us about their wild scheme. Set off for the clouds and find water in the sky. At her words, a murmur rose up from the group. Talk of how feasible the plan was, how best to go about it the routes to take, and which sections to avoid. Arlo and Becca want to find ballasts, as they're called, lower down. Enormous creatures made of water said to live in the clouds. Ballasts only exist in sleep stories for children. That's all what I always thought before embarking on this adventure. They're Arlo and Becca's last hope. I'm starting to believe in them too. We may have a chance to save the tower. Water. Okay, so... Let's go. Before they wilt, please. These ones are in the shade, so okay. Get it. Reach. Oh, stamina, 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 stamina. Where are we going? Looks like a dead end. Doesn't it? Can't grab those. I meant to like swing over to those ones.
Very cool. I like that. That way you can do some really long climbs. some distance on that. What's the most thrill-seeking thing you do, or would like to do if you could do anything, like a skydive? Or some rock climbing. I'm not much of a thrill-seeker, I have to say. I find some of the normal, more normal things in life thrilling enough. Not an adrenaline junkie, I should say. I don't know if you could pay me enough money in the world to skydive. Or bungee jump. Those ones people do where they, like, fly through valleys in Australia or, like, get thrown off and stuff. I just couldn't. Birdies. Singing a little song. What? What is it? What is it? What are you doing? Shaking your butt? Hmm? What are you trying to show me? Where are we going? You're not shining any objectives. Climb there. Guess not. Do you climb here though? Luckily, we're in the shade here, so it shouldn't be too much of a problem. <gasps> Whoa. Hitching a ride. to come around. <laughs> that one slowed down. <gasps> As too heavy get off me. those in in case I fall. Save us a lot of time. Ah! Yep. It feels like I can feel it. It's so painful, the like, bounce of the rope and the gasping. Okay. Come on, we can get there before the stamina runs out. There you go. Get it. So many people climbing down the heights. I feel like a fish swimming upstream, like the stories before the Jusant. We rose and fell with the tides. I remember hearing the old schooners describe enormous waves that drove people upward with each high tide. They'd never seen the ocean themselves. They were just repeating what they'd heard from their elders when they were young. There must have been a grain of truth to those stories, right? 
The ocean nourished the cliffs, and in return, the cliffs nourished the entire tower. Anyway, the inhabitants of low tide set enough store in them, set enough store in them to set off in search of the ocean. I wavered too, and we should try. We should we try to hook the lost water? What? In a way, yes, but not by going with the flow. I have the answer now, thanks to Arlo and Becca. Back to the source. We shared our shady spot with a man named Zoy. He was on his way down the plane and tried to convince us to go with him. Why stay? He didn't understand why we wouldn't go. You won't get nothing out of these fields no more. The earth ain't worth a blessed thing. He grabbed a fistful of dust and held it up as proof. Zoy continued on his way when we prolonged our break, dreading having to go back out into the blazing sun. I refuse to believe him. Ever since we set off, I feel like I'm rediscovering the tower, like I've never truly looked at it or listened to it before. My perspective is changing the higher we go. I'm sure we're on the right track. Look at that. To the person who left a caramel bun in the canteen, I ate it. Sorry, not sorry. There's no one around here anymore. Sada, what's new? Any work for us? Why, orders are drying up. Business at the rope works is far too slow for my liking. I'm starting to get bored. I've brushed up all my knots and I've done the accounting. I've been putting off for cycles. Ulf dusted all the machines, but now we're stuck twiddling our thumbs. We're not very good at doing nothing. Glad to know there's still someone left on the tower. Sada went with the flow, just like everyone else. I don't really see what they're expecting to find in the desert. It's not like the sun's going to budge any more than it does here. What's in here? A glittery wall. Glittering for no reason. Oh, excuse me. Brown or black fur, big ears, prone to nervousness and laziness. There's nothing more common than a choker. Too dull and unremarkable for a special issue, right? Wrong. In this issue of the Gazette, we'll do our best to make the ordinary extraordinary, starting with the unobtrusive beings chocos. Bipeds in two ways. They lay eggs and line their nests with fur. Is that what I have? There's that spinning thing again. satisfying. Ah, it faded away. Just get on it this time. There you go. basically moving points, aren't they? You have to alternate between them that slow down. Oh, as they stop moving, and try and keep them together. <gasps> oh, they're, uh, they're, they're going. Ah, I need to go up. Shoot. Okay. Up. 
up there. So I need to jump off of them when they get to that point or call that there. Oh, I can stop them with a little thing. Okay. Okay. But it's not, um... It's really not calling them out. Maybe I, I climb up that wall, actually. I can see some bricks on there. Ah, wait. I need to find one that's going up that way. There we go. Wait. Who's going up? Who's going up? You're going up. Okay. That's cool. So the others went down, and that was what did me in. No? Is it not? I can't climb. I can climb on there, though. Hang on. It's okay. I put a pit on. Good. Stamina, recover. Oh, that's not... I thought I was ready to stand. Not yet. Right as we get to the relay. Pop in there. And start over. Oh, all tied up. No? Ah, maybe... On... No, that's where I went before. I don't think I'm going on to that, am I? Hang on. I go in the relay. Then where? That's where I started. I worked my way around. It's gotta be up, right? Maybe it's then back slightly, so it's like you go in the relay and go back this way. But this time we have enough rope to go up. Possibly. Zip line up to there. Nope. Okay, try this way then. Let's see if I can grab that. not grab that thing. Okay, so that means that's a dead end, pretty much. Maybe it is onto this. Where would I go from here, though? getting pretty low. Ah. Okay. Okay. Now where? It's over there, I think. Oh, so close. Am 
Wow, we really had to go back on ourselves there. I think this is it. Nice. Makes you feel so cool. Replenish the tree. Listen to your heart. Follow your instincts. That's all I can tell you. Go if you must. I won't be going with you. My roots are here. I'm an old man. All I want is to stay on my land, at peace with the world around me. Farewell. I wish you all the best. I'll go to the old tree for as long as I can. I'll cherish your memory as my most prized possession. I'll be sad, but knowing you're out there somewhere will comfort me. A tiny plant growing in the desert. Grandpa, I'll be sad too. I already am. Mama says we'll come back when the sun wills it. But I don't believe it. The sun doesn't will it. If it did, we wouldn't be stuffing everything in the house into flower sacks. I heard the water in the desert steams and is stinky. That's what Tommy says. She's already been there to make sure there was room for her animals. She's going back with us. Uncle says if you change your mind, you know where to find us. He doesn't want to write to you. He says you made Mum mad and that I shouldn't be writing this. I love you. I don't want to go, but I'm going. So bye, Grandpa. Oh. All the little notes. Is that squeaking? Whoa. Little buddies, ride. stamina up and start again. That one's hard. What's the full extent of my rope? such a sense of urgency to everything.
Grab it. You're nearly there. One big scramble. Oh, that was the hardest climb so far. fluid it feels like even just sort of it'll get moving but hold B to attach that it doesn't sort of make you stop and hold it for too long to detach it it would make for a fun speed run I think it's an old like what's a boat doing up here right like the water used to come up this high Crazy. Or it was brought up here by massive waves. I wonder. Hmm. Why is this climbable? Oh, I do not want to be <laughs> stuck around that. There we go. It's, it's hard for me to convey quite how satisfying it is when you get a good rhythm and you feel the scramble work. Like, that's really kind of, for me, what is going to bring, is, is bringing this game home and will be the thing that it kind of lives and dies on, is the climbing mechanic. And they've done it so well that um, it just works. It feels good. Okay, so I need to get up there. Oh, I'm up there. Get some stand back. But it also, it, 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 it's easy enough that it feels good to do, but I don't think it's going to be too challenging for people. It's not kind of like got the same vibe as these really hard games. Okay. Close. 
How am I going to grab you? Need to get one of those bugs. This is here, so surely that's where I'm trying to go. That's where I came from, right? Brings us to here, but I literally can't. And we can stop them. Well, where'd you come from? Peaceful. There you go. Well, we're leaving the tower. The village has been given a date. I can't quite believe it. I still think about our dance. The last festival already seems so long ago. It was so nice to forget about all this for a sleep. I didn't realize it at the time, but I think at some point I'd given up. But then your laughter, the dizziness after that long waltz, the way you stepped on my feet, the way your cheeks glowed pink. I don't know how to ask you this, but want to come with me? Journey through life on the same pebble. Sorry, I know it's short notice. Now I care enough to be afraid. Afraid of what I could miss out on if I don't send you this message. I hope you get it. I want to know what happened. A love story. sort of helping write it and turning it over. right? And that's what I just let down there. Can you tell me the way, little buddy? <laughs> Go. Down. Okay. He listens through my other ear. I think this was like a stable. This is where they kept animals. Yeah, I want to get through 
through there. Where next, buddy? Up. Of course. I don't know how this kid's done it, because honestly, this flight of stairs on its own would do me in. I'd be like, <gasps> at the top of them. zip line over to where I just was so is that where I just was I guess teaching me that I have to go back on myself sometimes and I zip there because where's my actual over there. So why is this? Over here. Hmm. And the zip. this one in me up. Go. Wow, it was worth the climb. Look at that thing. Looks crazy. that we're reading letters from or if it's an even older one. 
Because some of the letters talked about not knowing how to use some of the machinery, so I'm not sure. Remember to check out this game in the description below if you want to check it out for yourself and play the demo, go wishlist it on Steam and it'll be coming to PlayStation and Xbox as well. Until next time, have a lovely rest of your day. Good night.